This design-build construction management project for the City of Edmonton is the realization of a new high-solids anaerobic digestion facility to be integrated into the operation of the existing facilities at the Edmonton Waste Management Centre. This new facility will expand the city's organics waste processing capacity and contribute to the goal of diverting 90% of waste from the landfill. Maple Rinders Constructors Limited, as the design-build construction manager, oversaw detailed design and construction of the foundations, building superstructure, installation of all equipment, and fabrication of cast-in-place concrete, including digester and aeration boxes. The project also included the supply of combined heat and power equipment. Methane generated from the facility will be used to generate both electricity and heat for the centre. The Maple Rinders team designed the facility with a reduced footprint while allowing increased logistics for the material flow through the structure. It self-performed the process mechanical installations of the digester doors and the gas storage membrane. The team further coordinated the equipment installation of the anaerobic digestion with a technology provider, Biofirm, as well as the integration and tie-ins with existing infrastructure. In terms of environmental sustainability, Maple Rinders included a number of components that would classify for LEED certification. Its design includes many environmentally sustainable concepts, most notably, all wastewater produced is processed and treated through the composting process totally closed loop system. Residual waste produced is minimized and generated heat is reused to heat the fermenters which help promotes the digestion process therefore producing more biogas. Maple Rinders believes that it is time to reinvent the approach to municipal solid waste treatment in Canada and capture the value of the organic fraction of solid waste. In this way people discover the importance of conservation and closed loop systems and spread the word that a closed-loop approach is indeed a sustainable approach.